the Explore Brampton Youth Pass gives you free access to Brampton Transit services and recreation drop-in programs, including swimming, skating, and select sports. I'm gonna show you how to use your Explore Brampton Youth Pass. Sign into your account with your email and password. If you don't have an account, it takes a few minutes to sign up. Just follow the instructions provided. Select your name to access your profile. Make sure your Explore Brampton Youth Pass is loaded on your profile. Once ready, select Program Registration. There are various filters to use when registering for an activity, such as the location of the facility or the type of service that you want to register for. I would like to register for drop-in basketball at Cassie Campbell Community Centre. Next, I'll select my preferred date and time to register for my drop-in program. Verify the details for your drop-in program. Ensure your name is selected and review the drop-in general screening before proceeding to the next page. When prompted, select Drop-in Youth Member under the Fees and Extras page. Complete the program registration by selecting Place My Order. Fantastic, your spot is now reserved. Let's travel to the Recreation Centre together. Since I reserved my spot at Cassie Campbell, I planned my trip online using trip links to find the most convenient way to get to the Recreation Centre. My bus is set to arrive at 1.02 p.m., but it's always a good practice to get to your bus stop five minutes before the set departure time. As I wait for my bus, I want to share some information that can help you when you're riding with us. Before heading out, be sure to plan your trip by using trip links to find the best routes and times that work for you. You can download the trip links app on both Google Play and the App Store, or use it on your computer. Visit BramptonTransit.com and select Plan Your Trip from the side menu to help get your trip going. That's my bus! Let me show you how to use your Explore Brampton Youth Pass on Brampton Transit. As the bus approaches, be sure to stand where the bus operator can see you. Confirm the route on the display. Have your card ready in your hand. Remember to wait until the bus is at a complete stop before approaching. Show your pass to the transit operator, and once approved, you may go and find a seat on the bus. Walk as far back as you can and take a seat or find a place to stand and hold a rail. As the bus pulls out from the stop before yours, pull the bell cord above the windows or push one of the stop buttons located on the poles. This will sound a bell, which tells the bus operator you want to get off the bus. Some doors will open automatically and others will open either by pushing or with a sensor. Read any signage on the door to make a proper exit. As you step off the bus, make sure all of your belongings have cleared the doors before they close. You may have noticed the bus I was on looked a little different. That's because I was on Brampton Transit's electric bus. Brampton Transit introduced eight new buses to our fleet. Battery electric zero emission buses and four high-powered overhead opportunity chargers in May of 2021. This is in addition to their fleet of 133 diesel-electric hybrid Zoom buses. The electrification of transit buses is a critical milestone in the city's journey to reducing greenhouse gases generated in Brampton by 80% by 2050. Taking the bus is just one extra step we can take to make this a greener city. Let's now head over to Cassie Campbell. Once you have arrived at your destination, enter through the main doors. We're going to check in for our program at the customer service desk. The customer service representative will ask you for your information. You will also have to show them your pass, so make sure you have it ready. Once you are checked in, you can make your way to the program area. Remember, passes cannot be shared or transferred. If you have trouble registering or have any other questions, a customer service representative will be happy to help you. Please remember to follow any local public health measures that may be in effect when you are traveling on the bus and visiting recreation centers.